In this video, I'll give you the five weapons that should return back in Halo Infinite and the way they will likely return. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another commentary video. Today we're doing a top five weapons that should return in Halo Infinite. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. A lot of extra effort went into this video, so I hope you really enjoy it. With Halo Infinite drawing roots from its past and bringing back some familiar weapons like we've seen for Halo Reach, it's Assault Rifle and many other weapons like the Battle Rifle, it got me thinking, what other weapons could return for Halo Infinite? Well, here are the five weapons I have come up with. The first weapon I would like to see come back on this list for Halo Infinite would be the Brute Shot. For the mainline Halo games, this weapon was featured in, we had Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, and Halo 3 ODST, with some side games like Spartan Strike, Spartan Assault, and Halo Wars on top of that. But we haven't seen this weapon in an original game since 2009 with ODST. This is one of the more signature weapons within the Halo universe, and it's something that's super fun to use and don't really find very often in any other kind of games with its signature blade underneath the weapon really helps make it just give a much more fierce and deadly kind of look to the entire weapon especially with the recent leaks of making it pretty much assured that the brutes will be coming back in Halo Infinite this is one weapon I would absolutely would love to see it come back to the game and in this video I want to kind of go over a little bit of details of the brute shine where it kind of fits within the sandbox as well as it originally was brought in with Halo 2 along with the brutes within the Halo games themselves and it features some pretty unique gameplay where you can actually ricochet the grenade shots off a floor and it would, then it would detonate and it caused some kind of more unique shooting style to the game rather than being a straight shot you know, a grenade launcher like we've seen in previous games. In Halo 2 and Halo 3, the Brute Shot was actually a really good weapon against the Flood. A single swipe from a Brute Shot blade will act almost like a sword lunge, destroying a normal unshielded combat form pretty easily. And with Halo Infinite drawing strong roots from Combat Evolved, I would highly suspect to see the Flood come back in Halo Infinite as well. So again, this weapon would be excellent for the sandbox. This weapon does great against infantry and also against vehicles. So multi-purpose, very awesome looking, and it actually has great utility in multiplayer and in single player. Though there were a few changes made from Halo 2 to Halo 3, where the Brute Shot now held a belt of six grenades instead of four grenades from Halo 2. In Halo 3, the brute shot grenade shots actually explode on impact or at a certain distance as well, unlike in Halo 2 where they had a ricochet effect where it had to bounce first or after a long period of time it would detonate onto a surface. There was also a bit of a down arc trajectory when it comes to Halo 2 that was removed in Halo 3 where basically it shoots pretty straight with uh, the brute shot in Halo 3, making it much easier to use. Now this weapon also was brought back obviously with Halo 2 Anniversary and it definitely got a significant boost on its range as you can see in some of these clips where the shots are just, they keep going really, but they kind of act the same way as it did in Halo 2. So for Halo Infinite, I would actually like to see the Halo 2 version of the brew shot come back as a, it's a bit more unique experience when it comes to using the weapon it is a bit more difficult but if you can find some way to utilize the blade underneath it for melee damage the cool ricochet effect where you can probably bounce around walls and stuff like that i think it'd be a really cool weapon to bring back into the sandbox and i think it would have plenty of utility the second weapon on this list was actually voted by you guys over on twitter so if you guys want to take part in the next one of these videos make sure to follow me on twitter link in the description down below but i had a poll right here listing of three weapons I was kind of playing around with and what I would like to see added in. We had one was the scatter shot from Halo 5, the target locator from Halo Reach, or the sticky detonator from Halo 4, and overwhelmingly with 746 votes in total voted in for this poll, 54% voted for the sticky detonator. Only making its appearance in Halo 4, this grenade launcher type weapon is very unique in its nature where it's a much more passive kind of explosive weapon compared to most of the explosive weapons in Halo are very aggressive where you have to go attack people. With the slow fire rate, slow reload time, and heavy arc when fired meant it was very ineffective against infantry but was in the right hands could be quite deadly. Not saying it wasn't effective against infantry, a detonator was shot. A screen would pop up with a bit of a radar on there showcasing enemies, friendlies, and vehicles. Looking at the little screen, you can dictate how close an enemy is to it and explode it as seen in this clip. 
There are many sneaky little tricks done with this as well, as in placing a sticky detonator shot on a flag in CTF and waiting for someone to go grab that. That's definitely a sneaky little move right there. Another thing I've seen actually a few people do were to shoot a sticky detonator shot onto a vehicle, drive that vehicle forward and find somebody nearby and blow up that vehicle they're in or just an infantry member nearby, lending itself to a lot more unique styles of gameplay that were never experienced previously in Halo. Though in the campaign, I feel like this weapon was underutilized for its uniqueness as most of the time it was kind of just used as just shooting the Covenant and just kind of like a delayed rocket launcher if even that. If this weapon was to return in Halo Infinite, I would like to see some kind of unique game mechanics brought to the campaign using utilizing this weapon as in say maybe you have to stick it to a surface, wait till it hovers over an enemy to blow it up or something in that way or being a much more sneaky passive way to using it. The sticky detonator is certainly a unique weapon within the Halo sandbox, a fan favorite and would be awesome to have come back into Halo Infinite. Another weapon I would love to see come back, number three on this list, the M7057 Flamethrower. With the first appearance of the Flamethrower in the Halo series being in the PC version of Halo CE back in 2003, many of the console players, the majority of the player base, did not have a chance to get to experience this amazing Flamethrower until the release of Halo 3 in 2007. 7057 being an alpha numeric callback to Marathon's weapon of the Toes. T-O-Z-T, which means toast in lead speak. The reason why I think this weapon would be awesome to have back in Halo Infinite would be because of, well, the updated graphics engine. Fire has always been a very difficult thing to render out in video games, and there are workarounds to doing it, and as technology has gotten better and better, one of the things like fire and water and various particle effects do increase in fidelity. And I'm assuming if they have flamethrower in Halo Infinite, my god, it would look amazing. Not only that though, is that it's a great close range weapon against players in multiplayer, and it's also really fun to use just to burn people. It's just a fun thing to do, but it also has a great utility within the campaign. Worked really well against the flood, like especially against the small little popcorn floods that would chase you around on the floor. You just get your flamethrower, spray them all down, take them all out. You can even create like a wall of fire where the flood would have to run into it, taking them out there as well. Again, I keep referencing great weapons against the Flood because I do have a very, very strong feeling that we will see the Flood return in Halo Infinite. Ever wanted an assault rifle with more bullets and higher fire rate and more damage? Well then look no further than number 4 on the list, the SAW. This weapon was originally introduced into Halo 4, kind of fulfilling a gap within the sandbox of weapons in Halo that really didn't have any form of a light machine gun like weapon because what's more awesome than just holding down the trigger and just having just an incredible amount of bullets flying out of your gun? Well the SAW pretty much captures that completely. With this high rate of fire, large magazine capacity, and high damage, this weapon causes a lot of havoc on the battlefield in multiplayer and in the campaign as well. Doing great as a multiplayer power weapon, being able to spray down enemies at mid to close range and just basically just mowing people down with the ease of this weapon that the recoil isn't too crazy though it has a bit of recoil management you do need to take place and actually there's a difference between halo 4 and halo 5 where in halo 4 the recoil just goes up as you're shooting and then stops up where you last left off where in halo 5 the recoil goes all the way up and then it resets back down the center making it much more conducive to controller play but it's a unique stance within the sandbox high magazine capacity and just overall just badassery i would say this weapon would be awesome to come back in halo infinite and to round off those list number five right here would be the type 25 special applications rifle otherwise known as the focus rifle or jokingly referred to by many people in the community the gator gun the focus rifle is technically listed as a sniper rifle which is kind of odd because i didn't really feel like it played much like one as it does definitely put a bigger emphasis on tracking your enemies and does damage over time compared to a regular sniper rifle which is obviously just more of a one and done kind of shot. The only mainline game this weapon makes an appearance in is Halo Reach while also making an appearance in Spartan Strike and Assault as well. With it being confirmed that the Chief does have the Halo Reach Assault Rifle in the Discover Hope trailer as well 
as we do know that just before the release of Halo Infinite, there is a book called The Shadows of Reach, which obviously Blue Team will go to Reach and do whatever mission that's needed to be accomplished there. So it can be quite likely we will see Reach weapons making it into Halo Infinite. Obviously, we already have a Covenant counterpart to the human UNSC sniper rifle with the beam rifle, but how could we bring a focus rifle into Halo Infinite? Well, I think it would be a great counterpart to what the Spartan laser is for the humans. Focusing this weapon is maybe more of an anti-vehicle kind of weapon or a much more long-range version than what we would have for a sentinel beam. The reason why I say I wanted to focus more on vehicle play because I never really found much success using it against infantry as I most of the times I was putting damage on the people I'd get their shields off and a lot of times they get into cover. With the time to kill being very similar to what a fire shot is for a DMR, I never really used this too much and I found using it against vehicles to be kind of lackluster and so that's why I feel like this weapon never really came back but I think it would be a unique weapon to bring back for the Covenant side of things as like I said it could really do a great job as a long range sentinel beam kind of weapon for the Covenant maybe more like a vehicle focus the counterpart to the Spartan laser also the aesthetic and visuals of this weapon just look freaking cool as well. I mean, it literally looks like I'm holding an alligator that shoots fire out of his mouth. I mean, that's pretty sick. So those are the five weapons that I would like to see come back in Halo Infinite. Do you have your own five? Leave them in the comment section down below. Would you like to see more videos like this? Make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. The links to my playlist video has all my news update videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure to tap subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.